Welcome everybody to another episode of Escapist Workout of the Day. What, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm Coach Gerardo and today we're going to do Friday, Benchmark Friday. Sounds better than Friday Benchmark, Benchmark Friday. Today on the menu, we're going to have JT, that's 21.59, strict handstand push-ups, strict ring dips, and strict push-ups. A lot of work for your chest, ready for Friday. Going clubbing if there's any club in the world open at the moment. Um, first things first, we're gonna warm up, but this is also part of the um, habit that we want you to try today, or thing that would like you to stay in your routine. You're gonna get a pot, a broomstick, anything that works like this, and we're just gonna do rotations. You can do this like a minute or two minutes a day. Just rotate those shoulders different ways. And that's going to increase or improve your shoulder mobility and mobility, better mobility and range of motions will increase your quality of life, I assure you that. Now, since we have already this thing, we're going to start with our warm-up. And for the warm-up, we're just going to do shoulder rotations and shoulder mobility for two minutes. Alright, so rotate, pass-throughs, you can just get, go around, get those shoulders ready to move because today a lot of pressing and a lot of shoulder work. We, like I said, we're going to do that for two minutes then we can just leave this thing on the side and we're going to grab, this thing keeps falling every time I put it there. We're going to grab a kettlebell, right? And we're going to do three rounds of 10 reps of three, the three different movements. We're going to do, first of all, rotations around the body, 10 times one side and then we're gonna do 10 times on the opposite direction all right 20 in total second movement once we're done with that we're gonna get this kettlebell to the eye level and we're just gonna rotate around the head for this we're gonna do five on one side and then five on the opposite side last but not least we're gonna do 10 single arm alternating kettlebell swings Straight back, arms long, just pull using your hips to drive that way. That's going to be a warm up, and after that, we're going to spend a lot of time working on the three different movements that we'll be doing. Hands and push ups, different way to scale it. We can also do, we can do, like I said, straight push ups, hands and push ups, or we can just do pike push ups, um, feet under the box. We will work, we have time, enough time to just work on which is going to be the handstand push-up version that we're going to use for the whole workout. Same thing with this, we can work on the rings for sure, but we can also work on dumbbells on the ground and just pressing down, we can work with pallets, we can work with the box and just doing dips. As long as we can do them straight, that's the whole idea. And last but not least, the push-ups. Now, workout itself, 2159, straight movements. First movement, hands and push up. I have my mat so I don't cross my head every time I go to the floor. We're gonna kick up, up from here, 21, hands and push ups. It's only three, but 21. After those 21, we're gonna get our rings, we're gonna jump into them, and we're just gonna do 21. You can use it feet forward, feet behind. Both ways work. Last but not least, 21, 21. You're gonna go to the ground, hands underneath your shoulders, elbows go back, and press one, two, 21. Once you're done with the round 21, back to the hands and push up for 15. 15, 15, and then the last one, 9, 9, 9. Time cap for that is going to be 22 minutes. Because the straight is going to take us a long time. I promise you that, that round of 15 is going to burn like hell, but you're going to be done in no time. 22 minutes, let's see who can do it. Share your details, share your comments, uh, time, how you did it, how you scale it. Enjoy, have a nice weekend.